five something because last night i had on my to-do list to finish a video because i'm trying to upload back to back we're gonna see how they go but i'm trying to upload back to back and so i was like i need to finish the video for today last night but um i just want to go to sleep so i went to sleep and so i was like wondering like, should i get up should i not so i ended up getting up to finish my video baby i did not finish my video till like 10 30 so i've been up for five hours and 30 minutes finishing a video mind you this video is supposed to be like an easy video to edit which it was because i didn't have to like put like a lot of like graphics and text in there it's like <coughs> bitch what i am disgusted this is like a really like i want to say basic video but it doesn't require all that it was really just like voiceovers and music and when i do those type of videos like voiceover videos i like my music to hit it to the beat so when i'm doing something i want you to hit it to the beat and so that would took me so long in the music and then with the voiceovers i'd be like oh my voice sounds too high on this one or i didn't say this right because i've been rambling sometimes so i have to like go back and edit and all this stuff like that so i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a probably finna eat watch tv um i still gotta make the thumbnail for that video so i'm trying to do that while i'm in the chick-fil-a line and then after i eat oh yeah i gotta stay up for that call so after i eat um i'll probably like finish preparing the video have that call then go to sleep i'm taking my behind the sleep and then whenever i get up i'm gonna get ready and stuff um today i have it on my agenda to go to target i went to the target over here um yesterday but they didn't have what i needed i need to get some balls for nova's playpen because we're going to build her a playpen nova is getting bigger she's going so fast y'all and i'm like i hate it like i'm i love seeing her grow but it's like baby you supposed to be my little tiny newborn baby forever nova's growing she can sit up now um she can't crawl yet but like she be scooting and stuff and i just don't trust her being on the apartment floor just because i'm not gonna lie it don't always be clean and two i don't know who stayed in that apartment before me so i just don't feel comfortable with her like being on the floor yeah so i don't feel comfortable with nova being on the floor and then nova likes to eat stuff and so like whatever is around she's gonna bless you honey whatever's around she's gonna pick it up and put it in her mouth so i just want to make like a safe clean space for her to do all the moving that she wants to do so yeah we got her a playpen i didn't get her a play yard because i want her to have a lot of space um so yeah zay's daddy actually bought it for us and i thought that we had balls at my mama's house because 
Bella used to have a little play, play, not a playpen, but she used to have like a little tent thing and you had like little balls in there. And my mama said she was gonna wash them and give them to me so I didn't have to buy balls. But when I went down there this weekend, we could not find the balls. So I had to go to Target and get some. And I also need to um, wash some of Nova's new clothes because we always wash her clothes before we put her in them. I know I've been buying a bunch of three to six month stuff and she's people just like buying her clothes. So I need to wash some clothes for her. And then um, what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to wash her balls, y'all. I don't know what it is. I like always have her bottles back up and so i have like a whole uh dish basin that i need to wash so yeah after i wash um her little bottles i'm just gonna go ahead and put those up in storage because i only want to give her big bottles now just because and it makes sense to like waste two little bottles when i can just give her a big bottle and my milk supply like when i do pump or for boo it's a good eight ounces so yeah just to save dishes and the hassle and stuff i'm just gonna do big bottles from here on out so yeah that's what i got planned for today um i have some more stuff but i can't think of everything but yeah we just gonna get it done oh, thank you we're just gonna get it done i'm already tired and it's literally 11 14 in the morning and i'm already tired my sleep schedule you would think after like that whole ordeal i had um when i was going to Meadow beach that I will learn to get some sleep and stuff, but no. Your girl got goals to reach and a baby to take care of. So I do what I gotta do and I sleep when I can. But yeah, I'll see y'all later on. All right, y'all, so it's like six o'clock. Um, me and Nova woke up at five and then me and her, we took a shower together actually. And I think she's starting to like know what water is a little bit more. She was kind of scared to be honest. Um. But it was cute because she was like playing with the water and stuff. So yeah, she was trying to drink some too. She started coughing. But yeah, we took a shower. Um, I got both of us nice and greased up and dressed. Um, I just put on a little onesie for her. So yeah, I might just put this on top of it because it's like really nice and fluffy. Um, I went ahead and did the Target order. So we're going to go pick that up probably like around 7, 7.30ish. Um, she's watching TV right now, but I'm just about to come in her room and vacuum up the floor before we put the playpen down Just because I want to make sure everything clean before we put it down And I also want to go ahead and do the stuff in the car before it gets dark So yeah, I'm gonna vacuum up this floor right quick so it can be nice and dry because I don't know if I told you or not, but the vacuum that I have is like a steam Not a steam, but it's like a wet vacuum and it's supposed to like deep clean So I'm gonna vacuum and then go to the car so we can organize it and get it together, okay? I'm gonna put it basically in this big open space on the floor, so that's where I'm gonna focus at. But I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up her room because I have not vacuumed in here since I moved in, and I realized that, and I was like, we need to vacuum. So I might use this. She really don't need too much cleaner because um, like she nothing spills in here. But I might go ahead and clean it up right quick. I don't even think there's any stains in here, but I'm still gonna use this anyways just to make sure it's super clean. Oh, oh, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took the half and she took the whole thing, slow down. Baby, you took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Okay, y'all, so we done made it um, upstairs. I came on the last floor. It's a good thing I didn't go all the way in this on the sixth one because somebody is up there i swear it's for the car move. but yeah so i came up here so i could get some good light in and plus we could be nosy so i want to be able to talk to y'all without being shy and being like ducking and stuff so yeah i'm going to get the stuff out of the trunk that i should put up and then we're gonna go ahead and get started and i also need to put her um her car monitor up she's in the back seat by the way all right say hey princess She's like, bitch. 
Okay. But yeah, I just keep her in the car she can stay warm. And I did put on her little snowsuit already. Bless you. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try and be quick. I literally realized I look homeless. But are you really gonna have a productive day if you don't look homeless? No. So, let me show y'all. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Right, yeah, I can't get a good, like the perfect angle. So, I'm just gonna roll with this one. All right, so, first things first is this little stackable not stackable collapsible um box it's by clever me and basically you can fold it flat if you don't need it but we always use it so in here i got her little stroller um caddy so this is what i use for like quick trips so i got like diapers um i got diapers little trash baggies for the diapers um a nursing cover is also in here some disinfectant wipes some wipes and then i usually keep a pacifier in here but I've been losing all her pacifiers, so that's why there's no pacifiers in there right now. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I got an Urban Outfitters gift card in the back. But yeah, and when I go out, I usually put my phone in that part. Next thing, little thingy is this. So this is a shopping cart slash um, high chair cover. We just started using this because she's starting to sit up on her own. I honestly don't know how to use it. But we used it. Um, I'll put a picture or a video on the screen because we actually used it when we went out. When we went out um, was that last well yeah last weekend or whatever but i really um like this because i don't really be liking over the i know i'm big on germs and i don't like her to be touching everything that other people been on so i like that but these are the things that we about to put up in the car so this is just gonna kind of help me organize all her stuff and yeah so we're gonna put these on the back seat of the front seat i also got my baby carrier so like for quick trips when i don't feel like using a stroller or it's just like not practical i have my baby carrier in there and then Two things of wipes, pacifier, a burp cloth. This is a bag, a bag hook, so you can like hook your purse to her stroller. Her stroller fan. This is a ring cover for her stroller. So this is the car monitor that I need to set up. I never set it. Well, did I set it up? I think we did set up in the yellow car, but that wasn't our car, that was mom's car. So I just kind of hesitated with setting it up in this car. I have no idea why, but I might see if I can get it set up. Probably gonna want these help though to be honest with y'all. But I'm gonna attempt to. Okay. Yeah, this is literally my stuff, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to organize this little bin a little bit and go ahead and start organizing the back seat. Oh yeah, baby. This is E. This is E. <laughs> Period. Period. Okay. So these are little organizers. And y'all, we do got a little neck proxy at the back but i just think it's gonna be so much more organized and it can fit more stuff so these are gray which i'm not really crazy about the color but my mama had got me these from like macy's i think so literally i like these because if your thing don't move you can still use it so i got this little band so i guess you do it like this just sliding on i'm gonna take this stuff that's Okay, I rock suit it. All right, this is nice. I like this already. So you can actually use this. I'm assuming for like a screen. Yes, this is for a tap. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. So my mama being the crazy, amazing, amazingly generous grandma and mom that she is, she brought Nova her first iPad. So this is going to be perfect. Well, Nova still sit like real facing, but whenever she starts sitting forward facing we can put our ipad in here so this is so perfect i love this i'm gonna link it if i want it but yeah i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and start putting the stuff into this one i'm gonna just use one because i don't want to i'm trying to say this i don't want it like when i'm moving her car seat because her car seat is rotatable rotatable her car seat her car seat does rotate so i don't want to like do put too much in here and i don't really have that much stuff in the car anyways oh my god y'all y'all need to get i'm not even like this is come on you want to come on me oh okay all right y'all so like this is not even freaking sponsored but this if you have a kid especially like a little kid well not even a little kid if you have a kid you need to get this bro it has like can y'all see this it's insulated y'all know how good that is for like kids when you got drinks and stuff 
Oh, yes, ma'am. This is going to be an even better thing than I thought it was. I love it. So, I can put, like, bottles right there. I'm so excited. But, yeah, so the whole reason why I wanted this is because, like, I know one day, I think we went to Augusta for Zay's daddy's birthday. We, it took us so long to get the house. And then we got the house, and I'm checking her diaper bag, and we had, like, no pampers. So, we had to go back upstairs, and we were, like, already running late. And so, basically, like, if I leave her diaper bag somewhere... Or Zay has her diaper bag and I don't have it. And we just have an emergency or we run out of diapers and diaper bag. I always want to be prepared. I feel like as a woman in general, you always got to be prepared. You got to stay ready so you only got to get ready. Like, you know how we always carry like, extra pads for ourselves. So with a kid, it's like you always got to have extra diapers and stuff. So like in the car, I will have her diaper bag with diapers in it. I will have her stroller bag with diapers in it. And I actually do have diapers in the car already, but it's just like in the corner. Not a corner. It's like in the pocket of the door. And I don't like that because if somebody sit in the back seat, they don't really have nothing, nowhere to put, put their stuff at. So I'm about to put like those diapers and stuff over here. But I'm so excited about this. I didn't realize it was going to be this clutch. Like, I'm excited. Novi is kind of bigger, so I'm going to let her sit in the front seat. And I'm about to put on um, one of her little TV shows so she can watch it. And I'm about to do this car right quick because it is getting dark, okay? I'm a slide anytime you want. Put you in Chanel, I'm going to teach you how to stand up. Slip and slide. Alright y'all, so I finished organizing this little thingy already. Um, I really just want to make sure I had a space for toys, pampers, pacifiers, and literally, I don't even know where the other little purpose cleaner, well, Jeff cleaner that we had went at, but I'm just putting that right there. We usually don't bring, well, we bring bottles with us, but when we do, and we know it's going to be a long trip, we usually bring like a cooler. We have the little heating and cooling um, cup holders in the front, so that's usually where we keep our bottles. But I have this all nice and organized, so I'm about to explain it to y'all right quick. Alright y'all, so this is where like her tablet could go. Um, like I said, I have a little gel spray right there. So on this side, I have pacifiers. I need to go get a case out of the house for that one. And then I have pampers right there. And then I have her little toys right there because literally I was putting her toys right here and she would, like sit on them whenever she got in the car. And then I have two packs of wipes right there. And yeah, so this is our little car set up now. I think this is so much more neat and organized. So it just looks a lot more organized and everything is like all together. And I know in case of emergency, if I run out of the stuff that's in her bag or we just don't have her bag for some reason, I still have her essentials in here. So this is perfect for me. Um, eventually i probably will move it to that side but because she's still real facing right now i just want to keep it on this side and right there that's just a bag i use whenever i have to go shopping or whatever and then these are just like my little essential sort of car but yeah so this looks a lot better to me i'm happy so i'm about to go ahead and set up our car monitor she's literally chilling in the front seat <laughs> but yeah let me go ahead and do this right quick yeah I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas round me, right at a guy, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, all right y'all so i'm happy proud of myself i did figure out how to get the uh car monitor set up by myself so i'm just gonna show you how that looks i'm pretty sure she's hungry so i'm probably gonna try to talk fast because yeah she's a little antsy but let me show you how it looks because i'm proud of myself i really thought i was gonna have to get zay to help me the one thing i will say though is i don't like the angle of the camera because like right now all i'll be able to see is her feet if y'all want a good car monitor i would recommend this one um I follow like a lot of moms on Instagram that talk about like car seat safety and stuff. And y'all know like them car mirrors, they say that those are like projectables. And the one that I have, it has like two straps, so it's super secure. So like if you get an accident, which God forbid, but if you do, it'll be like less likely to fly and stuff. And I really like mine's because it's like digital and you can see it at nighttime too. So like right now it's nighttime, but I can still see her clearly. And all I have to do is look down, check on her and be good. Cause a lot of times I be in traffic trying to check on her, like at red lights and stuff. And people be bonking the horn at me and it's like, baby, now all I gotta do is look at the car monitor and I know what's going on. <sighs> Princess, can you let me show them your new car monitor? I feel like she's gonna be staring at it low key. But yeah, let me show it to y'all right quick so we can go ahead and get back in this house and then run the target. All right, y'all, so full disclosure, my car is still a little junky, but do y'all see the camera? 
so yeah right now it's just pointing at her feet but this would be a great way to check on her during the car rides and it's literally like this little screen and you can pop it in and out with this little button right here and yeah i love it if y'all want one i will be sure to link it um in the description box all right y'all so that's how the car monitor looks from nova's side as y'all can see it's like strapped on to the headrest of the seat and like i said there's another strap so i can like fix the angle but that's how it looks so yeah like the cord is pretty long so i ended up knotting it so that it wouldn't be like just everywhere but yeah this is our little car monitor set up and this is how everything's gonna be set up in the car from now on all right y'all so i just kind of thought about it and i think i would rather put it on the what do you call that the dashboard i guess of the car so i'm gonna see if i can go on amazon and get like a sticky thing so i can like stick the camera part up there because i feel like that would be better and safer when i'm driving instead of looking down i can just you know look up right quick but yeah i'm gonna look into getting one of those because i feel like that would just be a better angle because i tried to put it up there just now and it didn't just like stay yeah i'm just gonna try to try and set up like a tripod basically i need to get a tripod for the car too but yeah that's basically the car setup i'm excited because i just feel like organized and like i got my stuff together when i tell you i had this car monitor i had a car monitor before she was born and my mama gave me those little seat organizers a long time ago and i'm just now getting to putting them up but i feel like i should have been did this because i could have been way more organized and you know a little bit more efficient but yeah so we finna go back in the house um i gotta get my bag and stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and go to target i think because the order should be about ready and i think we're gonna go ahead and get food while we out as well and then y'all know we're gonna come back set up the playpen which i'm super excited for i'm definitely more excited about the playpen than she is nova y'all nova is so nonchalant i'm wondering if i should get like a rug not a rug but like some what do you call those matte block things to go in the playpen like to cover up the bottom of it but i gotta see what the bottom of it is like kind of made out of but yeah so i probably see y'all whenever we get to target and stuff oh yeah i need to show y'all um when we went to Myrtle Beach, my little cousin Harper, she was so smart. And I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Nova has like this black thing at the back of her car seat. And since she is rear facing, it makes for the perfect, perfect, um, like not tripod, but phone holder. So like whenever I, whenever we go on long trips, the only way that I can really get through is if I give Nova a phone. And I know you're probably thinking like, girl, you was a bad mom. Cause why your daughter got an iPad? Why you be giving her the phone so much? But it's like, you just have to be practical like yes it's not good to give her screen time but if i'm trying to get somewhere i don't have time to stop every 30 minutes every time she start crying so usually like we'll put on like an hour long um peppa pig or grace's corner episode by the time it finishes she's usually steep or something but we pretty much need a phone to get somewhere especially if it's like a long distance so yeah um we just started putting like the phone on that little black part and y'all it has saved my life i don't have to worry about her touching it and skipping and doing other stuff y'all nova be she's starting to learn like she's touching stuff and so like sometimes i'll give her the phone she i put it on peppa one day she changed it to gracie and i don't think it was intentional but like she's starting to touch stuff one day she had my phone on the dang apple pay like she be moving and stuff so i like putting it there because she can't get to it um the most she might could be able to do is kick it but like she can't kick it off because once you get it in there it's like stuck and so like if i turn hard or something i don't have to worry about it moving so i just really love that little thing um it wouldn't work with every car seat but if you have an even flow revolve 360 which you should get because baby it saves your back um i would highly recommend that y'all use the little black part for a phone holder i'm gonna show y'all how you can put your phone in it if you have one and if you don't have one and you're looking for a car seat get you the even flow of all 360 all right y'all so this is what i was talking about um it literally keeps her entertained for the whole car ride and like i said it's so convenient because we don't have to hold the phone for her it can't move like i said her feet are the only thing that can really touch it and it usually stays in place i just kind of yanked it up there so y'all could see but yeah and do not mind my cracked phone This Target is so much organized, so much more organized than the one I went to yesterday. And yes, I went to Target's back to bed because I have an addiction. I'm trying to see if I can find some slippers. Yeah, do you have these? Do you have these? Come on. 
to fall in love. Yeah, it was like a mess in there. I came in here, I was like, oh my god, this looks so much nicer. Yeah. And I was looking for this for so long, the little collection, and y'all have it. Here. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's 2 of 337. You can cash out at any time to your bank account, PayPal, or e gift card. Upset helps offset inflation. Y'all, I really want the next store on my edges looking like this. I forgot. I meant to do them, but I forgot. My edges is crusty. They're not done. They're not cute. I was about to record on my camera, but this shit always, my camera always be acting dumb. Like, I'll look good, and then when I press record, it'll just go dark. Bro, I swear to God, no, it was just knocked out. And I was like, let me go come do my little Target haul before she wake up. Bruh. She just woke up. But I'm still gonna show you my stuff. All right, y'all, so I'm so hyped. The Target that I've been going to, that's the one that's like closest to me. And I went to the other Target that's like, all the way on the other side of town, like probably 20 minutes away because they had the balls. This is where I went to Target. So I get these balls for an old playpen. I did a um an online order, but I did pick up because I normally go in the store. Yeah, I just want to make sure that they would be like reserved for me because it's limited stock. It said only four left and I didn't want to like get there and they're not there anymore. And I ain't gonna lie, this is a hundred balls, but it don't even seem like a lot. I guess we'll see me do the playpen, but yeah. So that's what I went in there for. But I was like, you know, I'm just going to look around. Did not expect to find that much stuff. Y'all, that Target is way nicer. Like, it's more organized and more orderly. The Target I normally go to, their beauty section is better because, like, they got a whole little Ulta in the store. So, like, they got perfumes and, like, a lot of beauty products. But, like, everything's always so messy in there. And they just don't be having as much stuff. The Target I went into today, y'all, let me just say I'm glad I don't live by the Target because if I did, I'd be spending so much money. So let me show you what I got. So first thing, this is what I'm most excited about. So I was looking for this collection because somebody that I follow on Instagram, like them Target pages, um, they showed this little, what do you call it, collection where it's like cozy and it's kind of like a skim suit. And so I picked up this robe. Um, this was the only thing they had in my size. This is an extra small slash small. 
and this will be perfect because i wanted me like a nice comfy cozy robe for like fall and winter i have robes but i just want something that's like more aesthetic and a little bit more warm so this is absolutely perfect but i really do wish i could have found more stuff because i would have got like some more sets let me show you these bras next so I done seen these bras in Target so many times and I never got them, but these were on sale for like $11 and then it said extra 30% off. So I got this cute like charcoal gray color. I really like the ruffle on the back and I be liking sports bras for when I work out, even though I haven't worked out in how many weeks, but I got the gray one. I was about to say y'all got the wrong one. What did you say? Oh. I got the black one and then I got the brown one. I really wasn't going to get the brown, but it was only $8. So I was like, might as well. But yeah, these are cute. I just love how I got a little girly accent. And like I said, when you're working out or like you're cleaning up or something and your tatas be moving, that's what those are like good for. I never used to have to worry about wearing a bra and I still don't be wearing a bra super often, but my little tatas had definitely grown since I started breastfeeding. So like when I'm working out, I need a bra. And I got those on a small, so hopefully they fit me like once my milk dries up. But I got this cute little shirt. I got this in an extra small because I don't know. I just got an extra small, but it's like a black um, v-neck tank top and a seamless. Y'all know I love seamless stuff. And I seen, I think Kyra had this one on, or maybe she had a different one on, but I just really like the vibe of it. It's like a cute top, like it's a workout top, but I will also wear it out. So I picked this up. I wish I had white in my size too, but the white ones, they only had like ribbed, so I didn't get it. Um, I wanted to get some Halloween pajamas and this is the style that they picked out so I got mine an extra small and then he got some matching ones I'm trying to see if i could find some for nova they didn't have none the ones that they did have like in her size was like the skeleton kind but he didn't get that then i got nova these pacifiers i told y'all she needed more and these are six through 18 month and like she is almost about to be six months so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get her like a better stage or whatever and it says the breast like nipple shape which i really like to see when i look for pacifiers and it's made out of 100 percent sustainable plastics so we love that i just love how they have these cute matte aesthetic pacifiers i wanted to get her more but i thought about it and most of our pacifiers i thought they were missing baby they're in that tub of baby dishes that i need to wash it's like bottles and pacifiers and like some teething rings so i found all our pacifiers tonight probably i was like i'm not gonna buy too many pacifiers because i'm pretty sure most of them are in there and then the last thing that i well last two things that i got so i know them pants car put the girls on too um i have what color do i have? I have cream already so i saw the black ones in the store these are small i got mine in an extra small so i don't even know why i bought, bought these but i don't know i just couldn't say no so that's my excuse i just seen somebody i still had some on and i was like they look cute. I, I need to get me another pair. So I got these in a small and then I got the matching sweatshirt because I told y'all I love sets. This is an extra small. And I was like, since the pants is in a small, I can probably pull the pants up so my belly won't show. And it's just like a comfy little black sweatshirt. And yeah, it'd be nice for this cold weather. So that's everything I picked up from Target. I definitely spent some money. Came home. We got a longhorn for dinner. I don't even know, y'all. I did not think I was that hungry. But when I tell you, I tore that food up. I ate that food up so fast. Like, it made no sense how fast I ate that food. And it wasn't even all that. I just ate my food so fast. I don't know if I'm just, like, more hungry than I realized or what. But, yeah. And I had this little drink with it. I did not expect this stuff to taste this good. Like, this might be my new go-to lemonade because this is really good if y'all hear that that's kai because they like to watch them but yeah this is good like i did not expect it to be that good so now that i'm gonna show you everything i got from target i'm gonna go ahead and put nova's stuff um that i took out to vacuum back in her room and we're gonna build the playpen and yeah i'm excited i hope that she likes it i think she's up now so yeah let's get into it i like you better on the first day i should have said what's wrong in the first place i don't because you always taking it the wrong Say I got an attitude, oh. 
Why you talking to me like you be like? Why you always wanna be right? Oh, I just need the time that you can't find. I'm doing this with my son. He's not getting in the way. In the way? Yeah. Oh, this is as big as I think it is. See? You think it's a lot of balls? They say 100. I don't think it's a lot. What? Man. Get one. Get one. You you help it too. Yeah. Yeah. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah, you help it too. This ain't free. Nothing free in life. No late. But no day. Hello, motherfucker. Right, yeah. I kind of forgot what I need to do for laundry. Because I ain't open this up in a minute. I let this shirt air dry. Y'all, I'm so sick. Y'all, not me messing up my skin I'm sure the first or well, the second time I wore it. I put on oil and I wasn't smart enough to like I didn't think of I thought about it but I didn't think it was gonna stain it but it definitely stained it. So now I done messed up a fifty dollar shirt. My phone ran out of storage but I fixed it. So yeah now I need another one of these shirts. Um. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I need to wash an old shower curtain and mats. And then I'll start washing her clothes. I'm trying to think, should I wash it with Drift? I'm going to wash it with regular washing powder because it's not like she touches the shower curtain and stuff. So I'm going to wash it with regular detergent. But we got a lot of Drift, so I do need to get rid of it. Cause it's like stages and i'm pretty sure she considered stage two now but we still got stage one d i said you were detergents pairs and i like the colors because no worries a lot of pinks and purples and then they got neutral colors like gray white and brown so yeah i'm gonna take all the plastic off of this and put it in the laundry basket because i got a laundry basket full of new clothes at nova um she can't wear it because i ain't washed them so i was going to try and wash those tonight but i guess i could but i'm gonna have to start late i'm gonna see i think it's a almost done with the plate Supposed to be sleep. She's supposed to be sleep. She's hungry, so I'm feeding her this little yogurt because I'm trying to save 
my milk supply for a bottle for her to have while I'm in class tomorrow. So I'm just feeding her this. She's still learning how to eat. I borrowed some spoons, but I don't see them. So I hope I didn't leave them at the store because I will be going back to get them tomorrow if I did. But yeah, I'm just going to feed her this. I still gotta do some homework and pump and all types of stuff, so I need her to go to sleep pretty soon. She got boogers in her nose. Yeah, she likes some. She'll try and get her some. Like I'm not feeding her. Yeah, I'm still watching McKenna's vlog off and on. Every time I gotta stop from over, I keep putting it back on. I had these past Fridays in there, but I forgot to show you. I had bought these from the from Target too, so I'm not putting them right there. I need to wash them off. I'm just gonna put them right there. I need to wash them too. Jazzy Fizzle production. to be like you know i'm just gonna go to sleep and talk to them in the morning but i'm gonna be realistic with y'all i am almost at my breaking point because i'm trying to be productive and like clean up the house and do laundry really her laundry and stuff like that and she just keeps freaking crying and you know i tried to put her in a playpen let her entertain herself she wouldn't do that they tried to get her but she was just doing too much so he put her down and it's like, she wants to be held, but it's like, I can't do stuff if I'm holding you. And all the stuff that I'm doing is for you. Like, I'm trying to wash your bottles. I'm trying to wash your clothes. And it's like, she doesn't understand that. And I know, like, when she's crying, it's because she has a need that's unmet. But it's so, like, Nova cries all the time. But today, I'm just like, Nova, I'm tired of hearing you cry. Like, I'm, I'm over it. And so, at this point, I think I'm just about to try and feed her to sleep. Um, I'm about to pump my left boob because this is my better boob and hopefully i can get like eight ounces out of it so i can have enough for in the morning when i go to class um i did have an assignment it's an extra credit assignment but i wanted to do it and i was gonna do it before i went to sleep but i think i'm just gonna take me like a little nap until i don't know how long but i'm gonna take me a nap and then wake up um wash the bottles and stuff and um do that assignment because right now i just don't have the patience in me to do it and like i said i'm just frustrated and i'm just i just need a break like i just need a break because i'm literally about to like rip my hair out like i'm literally screaming like no stop crying like I'm, I'm over it so hopefully she'll go to sleep um i'm about to just finish watching the rest of this youtube video pump right quick and then go to sleep but yeah it's just so frustrating to me because nova cries like this all the time like she always wants to be held which is fine for the most part but when i'm trying to get stuff done I need her to be quiet. That's why, like, my mama come and just, like, watch them if I can actually clean up the house and stuff like that. Because otherwise, I won't be able to get much done. And it's just like, baby, I need you to stop. I need you to go to sleep. I need you to stop. She usually be going to sleep by this time. So, I don't know why she's still up. But hopefully she go to sleep soon. And I'm usually, like, really patient with her. So, if I'm getting frustrated, it's like, okay, you need to take a break. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll probably see y'all in the morning. 
um, whenever I wake up to do my assignments and wash the bottles. Okay, y'all, so it's the next morning. I'm tired. I did not end up waking up by myself. I woke up at 7.30, but I went back to sleep. Because when I woke up, no, I was hungry, so I just went back to sleep. But um, I have one nursing bra, so I'm finna pump while I wash these bottles. And then I have to get ready for class at 8.30. Uh, it's like 8.04 now, so yeah, I'm still tired. And I already have four ounces from last night. I didn't get to pump the whole boo because I'm not hungry again. I should be able to get four more ounces before I start getting ready. I'm so tired. And I won't even be able to get my nap in today because I kind of have like a busy day ahead of me. But Friday, tomorrow, your girl's gonna rest. But yeah, so I'm just about to wash Noma's bottles and pump. And I'm not flipping off, sorry. I just for a time so it takes me a long time to like get everything washed that's why i usually let it build up i need to stop that because these are bottles but just to make sure that they're extra clean um i like to sterilize them in this pot so i'm just about to put some hot water in there and let them sit while um i'm going to get ready for class and she should have more than enough um bottles and let's check my pump well i thought there's nothing in here there's nothing in here and i got in class so and get ready for class and worst case scenario i'm gonna have to like come back home to drop off some milk or see if they would drop me off and come back and get some more milk because four ounces is not gonna do it for her like i just know better than that so yeah i'm gonna get ready for class <laughs> 